Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your favorite YouTuber and your favorite person overall. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to manifest your ex back. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel. I talk about all things self-development. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. So how do you manifest your ex back in one week? I actually got my ex to text me in a week and I had to physically manifest him to stop contacting me. That's how hard I manifested him. The first and most important thing is deciding that it's already done now. Like you literally don't need to do anything else. When you know that you have this person already in your life, how does that make you feel? That makes you feel happy, that makes you feel relief, that makes you feel over the moon. That's how I sort of felt when I was manifesting this, just to sort of prove it to myself. I literally sat there and I visualized me opening my phone, getting a notification from him and it reading, I'm so sorry, can we talk? I felt that so incredibly real that it felt like it actually happened. The thing is that in my mind, I knew that it was already done. It was just a matter of time for it to come into fruition, but that didn't really phase me because I knew it's going to come like, right now, like yesterday. You have to feel it with such sheer pure confidence that like it's so done already that you don't really care anymore. I would suggest not to stop until you get to that position. Now, I was very detached from this person, so that really helped as well. So I do really suggest detaching emotionally. The most important thing that you need to do is literally know that it is already done. You already have this person. He is already here with you. You already got the text know that it is whatever you say it is so in turn whatever that you are thinking right now visualizing affirming or scripting or sat or whatever technique it is know that it is done now it is the ultimate truth and as long as you don't go against that thought and that manifestation it's gonna come to you in a snap, snap, crack a pop. If you want to keep manifesting further every day or for as often as you want to, that is perfectly fine. If you are someone who holds resistance and you're like, oh my God, when is it coming? When is it coming? I would let go of it as long as you're not thinking against this thing. If you feel like you miss him, that's also fine because when you have a boyfriend, you still miss them when they're at work. And that is literally it. It is really, really simple. I don't want you to overcomplicate this. I don't want you to read all of these books and watch all of these YouTube videos, unless it really inspires you. Inspiration is one of the most, you know, strongest emotions. When you're feeling motivated to keep manifesting this, that is very important. Like use that to your advantage. I would suggest doing what you love, like go on a road trip, take a walk, go to the gym, literally do whatever it is that makes you happy. Even if it is just watching TikTok videos, if it takes your mind off of that thing and puts you in a good place, no matter what it is, that is one of the strongest things ever, trust me. The biggest, biggest number one thing is when you are sitting there and manifesting, you know already it is a fact. It is your reality. It is done. You can't see it. You can't feel it. You can't taste it. You can't touch it. But it is done, period, with the assumption that it is going to come to you in a week. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Don't overcomplicate it. It's very, very simple. As simple as you possibly can make it. It really is about confidence and knowing that this thing is the ultimate truth. I have my ex back. It is already done. As real as I am holding my phone right now, as real as I can feel this phone in my hands is as real as my ex texting me back and asking to be together again, stuff like that. I can't literally exert that energy out of myself and put it onto you. It's not something that can be put into words. Just like a mother can't really put into words her love for her child. I can't like describe the power of confidence that you must have in order to manifest this. If you really want this, this is what you're going to have to do. I say confidence and it just sounds like a word, but like, I really want you to understand when you're sitting there and you have no distractions and you're just sitting and you're manifesting this specific person, right? Starting from scratch, 
starting from zero, you are visualizing or affirming or scripting. I'm gonna say visualizing because that's how I do it. You are visualizing him asking you back with the assumption that this is going to happen in one week. While also not being too, you know, stuck on the fact that it's gonna be in a week, right? This is just like a generic like time frame, right? Because it's going to bring more resistance. If you're like exactly in a week, I'm gonna be checking. Forget about it. Vividness helps, right? Being very vivid with your visualization, with your affirmations, with your scripting, that helps. But nothing comes close to the sheer feeling, the sheer confidence that this is a fact already. This is the truth. This is the ultimate truth. No matter what, no matter what else happens, on this goddamn planet, this is the one truth that is going to come into fruition in your 3D reality. That confidence needs to be so strong as if you are already holding that man's hand right now. You have him with you right now. And then the feelings are going to come naturally to you. I don't want you to force a feeling. I think that's where people kind of misunderstand the feel and that's how you're going to get it. I'm not forcing a feeling when I'm manifesting a person or money. I am feeling so confident that that thing is mine right now. And whatever feelings that bubble up are the feelings. They come naturally and they can change. It depends on your mood. We're not just set in stone people, right? If I'm manifesting money, one day I'm going to feel and know that I am earning, let's say $100,000 a month. That makes me feel free, happy, safe, and secure. But I'm not forcing those feelings. I am just feeling as if this is my reality right now. Like I am touching those bands. And it's so real that it's already the truth. It is the like ultimate truth. Like I am holding this money. I can right now go out and spend some bands on a Rolex or a fat whip, right? And what does that make me feel right now? Not yesterday, not tomorrow, right now. That makes me feel really excited. Like I feel, what do you mean? Tomorrow if I manifest, it might make me feel very, you know, show-offy or, or I feel very free because I can go to Bora Bora in a week. You know what I mean? So don't force the feeling like it is already yours and those feelings are just gonna naturally come. And it, they are literally going to drown you. Like you're going to be overcome with emotion because you know for an absolute fact without a shadow of a doubt i want to make this very clear for y'all that just like this necklace is around my neck i can feel that man's hand in my hand or i know as a fact that he is going to message me asking for me to be his girlfriend it's as simple as that Hope you enjoyed this video guys. I love you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.